guys you're welcome but i had wanted to do the other aspect of the concept of database management systems um, over the weekend but uh, got embroiled in other issues so today we want to finish up with the whole concept and then i'll give you some time to learn i think i'll give you just today or tomorrow to learn and then on tuesday we'll begin to work out on the on the practicals okay so we are going to actually spend time on uh, database languages and then after that we are also going to spend time on the design of an entity relationship diagram that's a er diagram okay how to how to how to build a, a, a foundation block okay for the data um the year diagram and then also when we finish and then we move on to the uh the the programming itself all right yes uh the programming itself i'm not actually going to we are programming is a very difficult one you know it's a difficult one and at this moment if we are to use programming languages like the sql right we have, we have to use the sql but as well is the common languages we use in the design of a database okay now um it, because it comes with many codes we need we need a whole year we need a two semester it's a two semester course we are not doing that okay so here it is to introduce you to the concept the languages that we are going to use and then also sql is already embedded in fact in the software we are going to use but at least we must know the various languages that goes into the design of the sql all right uh -huh. i need to know that is what we are going to do now i am going to ask you i'm, I'm going to ask you as part of your mid-semester examination so please find a serious all right so today we move on to the database languages and what is a language a database system provides a data definition language to specify the database schema all right the schema i told you the schema is the structure okay of the database the structure right the field names you know when you come out with an entity entity one must have the field names okay and then it must it must also have a way of recording the data onto the field name right so you know one of the, the field name could be assuming we have a student table you know one of the field name will be maybe the student id okay now the student id how are you able to do it you understand the fact that you are able to write student id over there doesn't mean you are finished no there's a schema over there there is a language that will be able to tell you what data type should be the what you call it the field name okay what data type will help us to put in the uh, the data what data type will be able to help us to query the data what data type will help us to actually update the data you understand right so all these things are done by what we call what uh, the data definition language so data definition language is actually going to specify the database schema let's think carefully it's going to specify the definition of the what specify the database schema the structure okay a what database no? a more table no? okay and then a data manipulation language is going to express database queries and updates listen it was a year to data definition language ddl and your data manipulation what language is also going to help us express the queries acquire the first one you query data our database in my tree and their bread management number their ticket decision all right yeah in practice the data definition language and the data manipulation languages are not two separate languages instead they simply form part of a single database language such as the widely used sql language so i told you sql language is divided into so many languages data definition language that will enable us to specify the schema of the table or the entity and then we have data manipulation what language which is also going to help us to do various queries okay various queries and then updates right so they but they are all part of what the sql language right so let's take them one by one let's take them one by so with my successful in the design of a database one of them or so but yes sql and sql is a whole software on its own but you're breaking up into subunits and one of the answer in a function within the sql language okay 
One is the data definition language. Second is the data manipulation language. So we are going to pick them one by one in Okay. All right. So here we go. We specify uh, data definition language. We specify database schema by a set of definitions expressed by a special language called data definition language (DDL). All right. For instance, the following statement in SQL language defines accounts table. You remember our an an analogy or example that we are using is the bank. Okay, so bank balance will have to create what? We have to create an account for customers, isn't it? Right. So how do we create an account? Look at the language. The definition language will say this. Let me repeat. For instance, for instance, see, I'm highlighting so you can see. For instance, the following language or the following statement in the SQL language defines the accounts table. Okay, defines the accounts table. So what do we do? One, create table accounts. Create what? Table account. You, you type. You type. When you go to that 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 uh, that platform, SQL. When you open it, you write like this: create table accounts. Create table accounts. But this is not what we are going to do. Please, we are not going to do that. But I am. This all these things are going to be graphically known to you. Please, I'm going to. This is just accountant. Please, auditor. Please don't take me to computer science i'm not taking you to computer science see hey am i doing the right course please you are doing the right course but it is a notepad it is like a notepad okay okay so what do you hear let me open notepad back or hand yeah assuming the sql please i guess the sql is on a notepad there microsoft there no a certain notepad i link it up to the sql language so maybe back up so yes this is the note part okay this is the note part now say you can see it here because it creates create um what's your table you see what's on the table accounts accounts create table what accounts okay then into brackets so I feel now the on the table we didn't on the in your database you know, the all, when you use when you use Microsoft Accessor and no no more my be pen one of the one of the file the uh, table we didn't okay but here ultra to in the SQL so there's a ultra in the SQL now over to what's one man of any pretty table be events in accounts will be pretty now what are the data types that the accounts is going to hold now one of them is accounts number so you set into bracket accounts accounts number sometimes no space okay no space then comma you see accounts number um accounts number no what 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 for, what for data type i feel we say accounts number no is it going to be a test is it going to be a uh, number is it going to be date of birth to say on, on keep on saying accounts number no on find the numbers in one and i'm fine as a test now in sql um your friend character okay in an sql character into the kind of character say actual character then after that now about uh if your character no on the, the character in SQL, I uh, work on a funny character. Um, but when you come to Microsoft Access, uh, you find a test. Yes, and see, uh, characters, you know, how many uh, yeah, characters in your for, for the account number? In your bedroom, I can say, and your 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel we are now here the comma at the upper. Let's just say. Then we come down to balance. If you are two, you bring your busy. So balance right balance mr who the best if you use your balance how many characters then i'll see a fact for the balance and as a uh, data type bank and also your balance data type on a very integer integer means number okay integer means what number now and also for close so what's your integer no idea above into which row integer no now what close you know it means 
it means accounts balance or balance now at your any integer okay any the integer balance now any integer uh, accounts uh, you know accounts number no sorry accounts number aha uh media -huh. accounts number no and yeah uh, this is accounts name accounts number no and your character okay and your character now for balance no zone and the integer all right all these things um pretty uh, oracle so you should call it but remember oracle is one of the biggest database uh, search engine and i say uh, uh, language uh, you to me at uh, the, uh, the, uh, the designing uh, database okay uh, the designing database but as i've said this is a programming a uh, big year one year we can cover this time because one year cover this time you know i feel yeah yeah mathematics you better mathematics be discrete mathematics kakra and your first year and some your baby yeah 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 okay but yeah 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 yes a mathematics no we are not doing those things here with you be trust okay but what that would the idea can you know say all these all these are being enabled yeah you know how no yeah you know how no it is being enabled you understand by data definition language create accounts create table accounts okay accounts number or say any character any character no? who did it was a schema no you know it's a schema the table schema and yeah you know accounts number no the accounts in the accounts all right the table number what is a character 10 characters it means in the access and so they can a bad test then balance so any integer integer means numbers any numbers okay right so this is enabled by what data definition language all right the data definition language and the maya coin are a part of the sql and the maya coin okay so the execution we are back to we are back to the we are back to our our nose the execution or execution of the above ddl statement creates the accounts table so um, uh -huh. in addition it updates a special set of tables called data dictionary or data directory oh yeah yeah we know well that is the power that is the, that is the, that is the, that is the power of uh, sql so far as oracle is concerned okay we are here we are not of a pretty dictionary or another uh, another table at the amount okay all right then a data dictionary contain metadata okay a data dictionary to contain what metadata okay right data of data metadata it means data of data that is data about data that's right the schema of a table is an example of a metadata a schema of the table no actually the metadata but what does it the field name the name of the table itself the structure of the table itself is the metadata a database system consult the data dictionary before reading or modifying actual data and the panel will be any updates or changes be more of the core database software no the core apple consult to data dictionary answer no 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 kaboom and sana so we saw your update or consult to know e history no dan sana for my point say update it right so that is that is it now we specify the storage structure the storage now we move on the storage structure and access method used by the database system by a set of statements in a special type of ddl called data storage and definition data storage and definition all right and now and and now data storage and definition language this statement is all a statement this statement defines the implementation details of the database schema okay which are usually hidden from users so we now you're hidden from users now me have one say one more year you know database can grab from uh hnd account with computing diploma in computerized account and set a more panel one is a more dear straight away at the moment call graphical in you know the graphics straight away but a near my ddls and as a data definition near my it may come behind the scene Okay, you might go behind the scene back with a DDL. Okay, and now some of the DDL is the data storage definition language. Okay, and then I will do one more now. If you saw data types, 
consulted data types. And so I'm data types, one selected. It be a lookup wizard, it be a one one, and there it be a test, it be a date of birth, and so forth. This is also the job of what uh, data storage and definition language. To data type now, we will access now. And yet, another aspect of SQL, okay, ah or no, or yet data storage and definition, all right, okay. This statement, okay, all right, so we have we have done, we are done, all right, so yet to also. Yet also, data values stored in the database must satisfy certain consistency constraints. For example, suppose the balance on the account should not fall below hundred hundred dollars. Utiye, ina ina ni ekono scheme ano ni ekono. So, for example, suppose the balance on an account should not fall below hundred. You understand? The DDL provide facilities to provide search constraints. Search constraints. So that they are and money fall below. And the ones that answer now will say more 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 bank accounts. You, know? you see, I told you that one more money will draw below certain amounts. You understand? A language, a SQL language. Now data definition language and my a facility to do that. Okay, right. The database system check these constraints every time the database is updated. It's really a we are not going to type any code to restrict I bet you say unrestricted balance no we are not but we are just trying to understand say data definition language you know your work data storage language your consistency language constraints language and so ever so that's it ah a boy into in the policy remember you see software and Casano software executes management policies Software itself, all to me, where a dreamer BR on his own. He is there to execute management policy. Which is a management policy said the account balance shouldn't fall below 100. That is their policy. And I was a no and a programmer no or young wedgeman. You understand? Right. So that is that is it. That is so we move on to data manipulation language. After we have stored the data, after, after we have designed the data, the schema. We are putting data and so forth. How do we manipulate the language? Or the only how do we make sure we manipulate the information stored on the database? Data manipulation language is see data manipulation language is DML. That's another short form. You may go on an interview and they may ask you what is DD, DDL and what is uh, DML. So far, so far as uh, uh, database is concerned, they may ask you. Okay, and then also because you are also um, Accounting with computer students, you cannot escape these questions when you go on any in other interview because they will actually, they will actually um, um, also um, um, try to ask you because they will see from your transcript that you have actually done database management systems, and so they will ask you of this the type of database that you use, the software that you use, is the access. Okay, or Oracle. Hey, when, whether it is Access or Oracle, they are all done by SQL. Oracle is a name. SQ, uh, Microsoft Access is also a name. SQL is also a name. There are so many types. But they are all made successful by their SQLs, which are almost the same. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. It doesn't change at all, but uh, because um, um, Oracle, you have to develop it yourself. You have to develop the code yourself. You are able to do whatever you want to do. But with Microsoft Access, you realize that you are respected. There are some certain data types. Certain data types you have to be typing. I mean, you have to restrict yourself into. Okay, but Microsoft, even for Microsoft Access, what you realize is that if you don't want to, the, the restricted aspect is there. But if you want to also do as you want, you can also use SQL. Okay, you can use SQL. I think uh, when we when we start manipulating, uh, we will we'll get to we we'll get to know we we'll get to know that one as well. I will introduce you to that one. Okay. So data manipulation language enables us to retrieve information stored on the database or stored in the database. Manipulation. Remember, manipulate. So it enables us to retrieve information that is being stored in the database. And then also, it enables us to insert 
new information into the database. So, Sajin is a new student, Abba, or see to me admitting onto the system. Database management systems or data manipulation language should be able to enable us to insert new data onto the database. And then also to delete information from the database. Okay, now say the customer has, uh, has, 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 has decided not to conduct business with that again, so he wants to close the accounts. Straight away, we can close it. You understand? We can close, and then the data manipulation language aspect of the SQL should be enable us to delete the person's data from the database. And then also, if say the person, it can also enable us to modify modification information stored in the database. All right, the data. Base. We can also say the person has changed uh, his status. He wants to change from savings accounts to current accounts. You understand? If that is the case, then SQL, as part of the data manipulation language, should enable us not deleting but updating. Okay, the person is now married. Maybe beginning, beginning when we when we, the person was opening the accounts, we asked marital status, not married, but now. He's got married. He needs to inform the the bank, okay, that now my status has changed from unmarried to now married. That's it. You see, all these things are made possible by data manipulation language. Or oh, now I want to increase my monthly contribution from 500 Ghana cities to 1,000 Ghana cities. It's a modification of information that must be supported by data manipulation language to enable the database. To function as required all right data manipulation language is a language that enable users to assess or manipulate data as organized by the appropriate data model so you see sadi we nyina no say one year year diagram na one to me and chere sadi no a program manager man so we call baby you understand okay and after so this will help you to actually select the best uh, um, um, sql languages or select the best uh, database software in the market. In Tukokoto software, be now be developed with a database. You understand? You must make sure that it is embedded with data definition language and then data manipulation language and then other languages, which all forms part of your selection criteria. In any database, be our best selecting now, but we now I need this function. No? It means it's not the best or so, but it is assumed that whoever developed that very database. You understand for you, no, or you see this languages and not the and that the, the, the system should be able to help us to retrieve data, insert new data, delete information, and then modify data. All right, okay. So we have another under the data manipulation language, we have procedural data manipulation language, which requires a user to specify what data are needed and how to get those data, what data are needed. You know, so what sort of data are we collecting? Are we collecting data from students? Are we what if, if it is about students, what field names are we going to specify? We have declarative uh, data manipulation language, also refers to as non-procedural data manipulation language. It requires a user to specify what data are needed without specifying how to get those data. All right. So um, I think I don't want to go back. Then also under the um uh, data manipulation language is also what we call a query you understand a query is a question a query is also a statement a question which we use to request the retriever of information from the database a query is a statement requesting the retriever of information from the database from the pool of the data that we have billions and trillions and quadrillions of data now you are into the database now a query is also a data manipulation language, an aspect of a data man manipulation language, a web wiring to retrieve the data. The portion of a data manipulation language that involves information retriever is called what? A query language. A query language, right? Although technically incorrect, it is common practice to use the terms query language and data manipulation language uh, synonymously. I mean, almost, to say your query language a uh, query language is almost I'm not going to use, you know, the same as uh, manipulation language, uh, which is which is a new part there. But so far as the idea is that once you understand that uh, query language, 
and you're the same as manipulating the data. Fine, what you are saying, fine. Because what you are saying from that angle, you never be here, is the same as asking basic questions. Okay, let's look at one of the questions we can use the SQL to do. Okay, see, look at that. I hope you see it. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see properly. I think it's a map. Okay. He said, queries may involve information. Okay. Queries may involve information from more than one table. Sorry. I'm going to I'm going to Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Queries specify those rules. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let zoom on. So this query in the SQL language finds the name of the customer whose customer ID is 19283 blah blah that is account number. Okay, so query number. So a query is a statement requesting retrieval information. The portion of the data manipulation language involves information retrieval called query language. So I think I've told you this. This query in the SQL language finds the name of the customer whose customer ID is this column. So, what is this statement? Statement is select. You better to say your notepad no sooner. Select customer dot customer name from customer. That's from the table called what customer. Where customer ID or where customer dot customer ID is equal to what one nine two dash eighty three. That's seven four six five. Then you run. You know, say, oh, go on there. You run. Then when you run, and see, the account wants some more. Hano, a rule. You remember, say, you will feel say, customer via data is in a rule, and yet in a in a in a column, a rule. So that's it. The field names may have five. Five field names. I've been a customer ID, customer first name, customer uh, second name, customer date of birth, and then whatever. To fill in that one, yet information you come on. Now you retrieve information. Now you retrieve the row and yet and yet fill names. No more the row and uh, one data about the customer. And you don't say, I dare you from young cans and some cop as will be. I dare you can also have no. I dare you can why select select dot customer name. You understand from which table customer also say on select customer dot customer name okay from which table customer where that is the question customer dot customer id is equal to what 119.1 a row of the information the same id media you don't the name you don't date of birth you don't be out here and then yeah it was say yeah yeah and this year can just the id alone it be the customer data not at but this is also an sql you know uh -huh. This is the SQL document. So the query specified that those rules from the table customer, where the customer is one nine two eight three seven four six five, must be retrieved, and the customer name attribute of these rules uh, be displayed. Okay. Uh -huh. Queries may involve information from more than one table. Yes. For example, the following queries. For example, uh, the following. Queries find the balance of all accounts owned by the customer with customer ID 192, the same thing. The same thing. Okay, so a balance what is the language? What is it? What is the statement? Statement in the select accounts dot balance. So it means that uncle accounts dot balance from depositor accounts from a table calls what depositor accounts where depositor dot customer id is equal to this and depositor accounts number is equal to and depositor accounts dot accounts number is equal to accounts number okay right there are a number of database query languages in use either commercially or experimentally okay right so the level of uh, okay so i think said that is that one and then another one is data dictionary we can define data dictionary as a database management one point one zero. You can you, you you can you can leave it. You can define the data dictionary as a database management system component. That's called the definition of data.
characterize characteristics and relationships. You may recall that such data about data, metadata, were labeled metadata. Okay, my can be important. Database management systems dictionary provides database management system with itself describing describing characteristics. In effect, data dictionary resembles an X-ray of the company's entity data set. The company's what an X-ray entities X-ray of the company's entity data set and is crucial element in the data administration function. Okay, right. So, I and this will lead us to this will lead us two main types of data dictionary exist integrated and standalone. An integrated data dictionary is included in database management systems. For example, all relational database, oh sorry, all database management systems include built in data dictionary or system catalog that is frequently accessed and updated by relational database management systems. In fact, the, uh, because all tables, all entities must be related. You know, yeah, yeah, but you say, um, we are going to all database management systems are being run on a relational. And here they are as an account relational database management systems. All database are being run on. It must actually assume the relationship that exists among them or between them. Okay, uh huh. And they must join hands together. They must be related. So that we can use it. You see, the first one here, kind of, from two accounts. You know, if the two tables of current accounts and savings accounts are not related, if they are not related, it will retrieve data from two or three tables. Okay. Yes. So relational database management systems has come. All right. So I, I will actually end with the concept, and then uh, but now you are calling him to know the entity relationship di diagram. Okay, uh -huh. um, but the way you know, let me try at the Okay, let me try at the okay. as a uh, as part of your uh, as part of your nose. Okay.